All right, all right, all right, all right, guys. About to get it cracking. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to episode two, Cousin Drew's Cooking Show. Tonight, we're doing a little Mahi Mahi live from my motherfucking kitchen. All right, guys? We got some good shit stirred up tonight, all right? We're about to get down. We're going a little bit healthier this evening. You know, last week, pretty heavy feeling. You know, tonight we're gonna, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna go the complete opposite way, all right? And we're gonna uh, grill mahi-mahi, all right? We're gonna do a cilantro lime brown rice, roasted purple cauliflower, and we're gonna top the fish off with a nice mango salsa. All super simple to make, super, super delicious. And, uh, you know, keep them pounds off that stomach, baby. Everyone in here tonight, uh, I see numerous, numerous people already in here. Mom, Dad, we got Justin, we got Bobby, we got Garrett, we got Max, we got Alex, we got Jackie, we got Sammy D up in the house. Auntie Tammy, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. We got a couple follows already. Let's go ahead and see what's cracking. About an hour ago, off stream, we got uh, Bubble Putt, you know, uh, 333, followed the channel, just want to say thank you. And about 12 minutes ago, off stream, uh, Liddy City, my boy Matt, gave me a follow as well. You know, thank you for the follow. Uh, basically how it works, guys, if you're new to the channel, new to Twitch, you know, stopping by for the cooking stream. Um, up top, there's going to be a follow button. Uh, go ahead and hit the follow button if you're enjoying your time. Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to get a notification about when I go online. Uh, half the time it's for gaming. You'll know when it's not because I will make it very clear. Um, but I will be every Tuesday and Thursday night. We're going to be getting, getting cracking in the kitchen. So, um, yeah, if you're enjoying your time, go ahead and hit the follow button. Appreciate it very much. You will get a little pop-up on the screen that will you know, let everyone know you gave a follow. Uh, subscribing's up there as well. Totally optional. Don't need to get into that. You can kind of read the details if you click on it. I'm not asking for, you know, your donations. That's totally your willing choice. And at the bottom, there is a donation-tip button. Uh, all donations will just go into the food for the stream. I appreciate it greatly. Love you guys very much. We're about to get started in one second. Let's see who else we got in the chat right now. Shawnee Boy, thanks for stopping by. Alyssa, I see you in there. My name is Drew. Sammy, Bird Gang. Uh, we're already getting people timed out with Nightbot. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. We got our camera angles like you saw it last time. And if you didn't tune in last time, I'm just going to give you a little idea of how it works. So we got our main camera right here. We're going to go ahead and we got our cutting board camera upgraded from last time. Uh, last time, a little bit closer, a little bit more blurry. So this time we're going to be a little bit upgraded right here. 
And uh, we got our stovetop angle. And back to your boy. Mr. Peco Peco, thanks for stopping by. I still have no idea who you are, by the way. You know, you come by all the time, but still have no idea what is going on. Uh, <laughs> I see you guys going at it in the chat. I love it. All right, so let's get started, guys. Let's get started. So uh, first and foremost, fish cooks pretty quickly. Uh, that's kind of something we're going to handle later on down the line. Uh, what we need to get started first is the cauliflower. Cauliflower is going to most likely take the longest out of everything. The rice pretty simple. I already got the brown rice cooked off. I'm not going to spend an hour trying to get the rice cooked and, you know what I mean, trying to speed up the process a little bit. So the brown rice is already cooked. So what we're doing with the brown rice is we're going, to, we're going to make it a cilantro brown rice. We're going to add some seasonings in there, get that tossed up. That's pretty quick itself. So we're going to go ahead and get this cauliflower squared away. Uh, So what I got here, I will be cooking for two tonight. My boy Gmo, who always, you know, Garrett, everyone else knows him as Garrett, helped me set up everything every night that we've been doing this. So uh, he basically gets a meal out of it. Lucky him, you know, he needs to cut them pounds anyway. So we're going to feed him healthy tonight. So what we got here, we got some purple cauliflower. Nice head of it. We're going to go ahead and trim it up into little florets, which basically are, you know, little baby size cocks of the cauliflower. Uh, we got a new follow, Joe had 75. What's up, Joe? How you doing, brother? Thanks for stopping by tonight. Appreciate it very much. Thanks for the follow, G. Nate Dog, see you in there. What's going on, man? Auntie, thank you very much. Peco Peco, still got no no idea who you are. I'd love for someone to get down to the bottom of that. Yes, purple cauliflower. Purple cauliflower. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, Roasting bread. We're gonna put all these babies in the oven, get them seasoned up. So I'm gonna get some foil. Nice, lay a nice little sheet down of foil. Helps keep the pan a little bit cleaner. All the sticking and all this, the, the cooking that's gonna be going on in that. Want to keep that thing clean. It's a lot easier in the end. All right, so we got that down. We're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of spray on there. Another stick. Oh, another follow. Uh, Bandis, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. All right, so we got our tray seasoned up, ready to go. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the uh, cauliflower. We're gonna trim it up. Get all this excess junk off of there. Don't need any of that on there. That's just from the bottom of the plant. So we're going to go ahead and get that all cleaned up real quick, squared away. <laughs> oh god, here come the fat jokes. Garrett's going to get all going to get all self-conscious and shit. Give me shit after this stream. Candace, I see you in there. Thanks for stopping by, Candace. My little cuzzos. All right. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to cut this in half. All right, and from here, I'm just going to go ahead, as you can see, I'm just going to cut little florets around, around this stock, just very easy. Go ahead, give them a slice, all right? So from there, you can see individual little florets are going to break off perfectly. Don't even need to use my knife anymore, just use my hands to break off these little florets. And for the bigger ones, just so they make sure they cook equally, we're going to go ahead and cut those in half just so we make sure everything cooks the same. We're not going to have any bigger pieces that are going to, you know, sit there and not cook nearly as fast as the small pieces and have a bunch of uneven cooking uh, cauliflower come out. So we're going to make sure everything's the same size, everything's very consistent. See chats still rolling. I love it. You know, everyone in there can't thank you enough, guys, for stopping by. Second episode been blowing up on the YouTube, posted something last night, we're almost at 200 views. Everyone, uh, thank you so much for the support again, like I can't say it enough, like I really do appreciate it. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get these florets trimmed up, make sure everything's the same size, like I said before, we got half the cauliflower down. Ryan, thanks for stopping by, see you in there. Something going on with the audio? Is that, what, is that what I see? I've never seen spaghetti made like that before. 
All right, so same thing to the other side of the cauliflower. Just gonna trim down under the legs, and then just gonna break them off. Simple, very simple. Make sure everything's the same size, everything's even. Let's get these on the cutting board. Do that really quickly, get these squared away so we can season them up, get them in the oven, get started on everything else. Alright guys, so we got all our cauliflower chopped up, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the sheet tray, I'm going to slide the cauliflower on the sheet tray, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my cutting board real quick because I cannot stand working in a messy area, it drives me fucking insane, so I'm going to give this a little wipe up clean up right now. You all know how OCD I am. I don't need to explain that. Alright, so we got the cutting board all squared away. Clean, clean cooking is always good cooking, you know what I'm saying? Holly, I see you in there. Thanks for stopping by, girl. Appreciate it. Hope you're feeling better. Heard what happened last night. Glad you're alright. Some smooth jazz in the background. You know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about, you know, asking all you guys for some feedback, you know, what, uh, what, what do you guys think? Should I have music playing in the background really quietly, some, some, something nice and soothing, or should I, should I keep it quiet? I really wanted to get the feedback from you guys, so. <laughs> Maxi. All right, so, cauliflower laid out. We're gonna go ahead, get a little bit extra virgin olive oil, add some really nice flavor to the cauliflower. It's uh, one of the stronger oils. A lot of flavor, a lot of taste, pretty overpowering. It's not something you're going to use if you're if you're looking to you know keep the flavor of something. This is to enhance. So we're going to enhance the flavor with some with some OVO. Next, we're going to grab some salt. Throw some salt on there. Nice pinch of salt, about probably about a tablespoon, half a tablespoon. We're going to get a little bit of garlic powder on these babies. Everything's better with garlic. Everything. It's my Italian mouth talking. We're going to do some fresh ground black pepper. Always with the pepper. Always, always. Make sure you get a nice, nice amount on there. Pepper, uh, you know, really, really strong. Really helps enhance and penetrate things like this that you know need a lot of flavoring to really change the taste. Lint biscuit, yeah. We'll put some lint biscuit in there. Some raining blood. <laughs> some Metallica. Uh, next, I'm gonna throw a little cayenne on there. So I like, I like doing these a little spicy. So the way the dish is going to work is I do a nice sweet mango salsa for the fish. Pairs very nicely. And then I like to get a nice little heat source from this, uh, this cauliflower. So it pairs really nicely together. Some Kid Rock, Five Finger Death Punch, holy jeez. Next we're doing some paprika. Another strong, strong red seasoning. One of my favorite things to use. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. A little bit of ground mustard padded for some extra flavor, one of the most under underused seasonings, one of my favorites, pretty much use it on everything. And uh, top that off, lastly, with a little bit of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is really, really strong, really, really delicious. I'm just doing a little bit sprinkled on. Um, it's really, really overpowering, but it adds a really, really nice smoky flavor. Really nice smoky flavor, so. We're just going to drizzle that on pretty lightly, make sure everything's covered up. Alright. My hands cleaned up a little bit. So, here we got the cauliflower all seasoned up. Um, basically, all the seasoning are spread on, we got the oil spread on. I'm not going to do much tossing or turning because I want uh, the heavy coating of the seasoning to really stick. Mars McCoy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Can't say it enough, guys. Appreciate it. So like I said, I really want the caked on seasoning to really just sit there and flavor each piece. I don't need it to be mixed. I want, when you to bite into that, you get all that seasoning. It's, it's just the way it's supposed to go and get paired up. So we're going to go ahead and toss this in the oven, guys. Get this going. I got the oven on about 380. 
get a nice roast, uh, let it go without burning the top too much. You turn it to 400, they tend to burn. So we're just going to throw them in, let them go. So, I don't need a timer. We'll go ahead and check on them in a little bit. So next, uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get the, um, the mango salsa prepared. It needs to be prepared, it needs to sit, let the juices, let all the flavors kind of combine. Helps the uh, flavor profile out a little bit. Got another follow, Nate Dog. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Uh, Holly Berry also gave a follow. I don't know why I didn't get a notification. I'll go ahead and scroll that through. Oh, here we go. Holly gave me a follow as well. And Alyssa, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it, guys. Keep them coming through, baby. Keep them coming through. I appreciate it, guys. Seriously. All right. So like I said, we're going to move on. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get the, the salsa made. Let it sit. Let it get ready. Um, then we'll prepare the items for the, ri uh, for the rice. We need shaved uh, lime zest, we need lime juice, uh, we need fresh chopped cilantro, which is gonna be going into the salsa as well. So we'll get everything prepared. The fish, we'll, we'll season it up a little bit, get it ready to get thrown on uh, uh, the pan. That'll get cooked up and hopefully everything will tie together and we'll have it ready right, by, uh, right before the uh, cauliflower gets ready. So let's do this. So some of the ingredients I'm going to be using for the pico, I got my Roma tomatoes, uh, doing, you know, two people for the dish. Ryan, thanks for stopping by, baby. You and Alexia, thanks for, wa thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, so we got a couple cucumbers, going to add a lot of freshness to the fish. Um, green jalapeno, a couple red jalapenos. I like, the t I like the color. I like the mix of colors. The red ones tend to be a little hotter, too. Uh, some Roma tomatoes, got four of those, you know, it's for a couple people, nothing crazy. Got my mango and a couple bunches of cilantro to get down with. Go ahead and get all these taken care of. All right, so first and foremost, we're going to get our tomatoes chopped up prepped up, ready in the bowl, get these all taken care of and squared away, I'll show you guys how I uh, clean up my tomatoes and get them in. So first I uh, take the tomato, you can see the little Ryan right here, I have this nice little tool, I got it at Sir La Table, probably one of the most expensive cooking stores in the entire planet. This little freaking thing right here cost me like $30 there. Luckily I had a gift card, so I just threw it on there, but what a joke. So you take that, you basically push it in and twist, and it just takes it out, right? Takes it out nice and right. Nice and easy, right? Cleans up the end. I'm gonna do it to the next one. Simple, pull it out. Next one. And the next one. All right, Justin, thanks for stopping by, big dog. I appreciate it. What's going on, J Dubs? J Dubs gave me a follow yesterday when I was gaming. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Joe Mahi Mahi is fish good. They named it is so good. They named it twice, just like couscous, baby. Just like couscous. Ireland. I'm in Wisconsin. Yeah, my boy Alex. I met him a couple weeks back. He's from Wisconsin. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna cut the tomato in half. See new here with Drew. Thank you, Candace, for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, so I got the, the tomato cut in half. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half one more time. Jay New Jr., thank you for the follow. Thanks, Jack. Auntie Tammy, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Man, they keep coming through. Thank you, guys. Uh, so we got the, the tomato quartered. So what you're going to do is the back side where I took that you know little scoop out. I just lay my knife down and I drag it across. Get that seating area out. You don't need that. Something you could throw in a sauce or something, but you don't need that in your in your salsa. Look how nicely trimmed that is, nice and smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and do these, these to all these tomatoes. Get these done real quick for you guys. We'll move on to the next step. Do it to the next one all quarter. It's easier to just quarter them all in advance. I was showing you the first time, so I 
you know, was doing it slowly, but if you want to get them all done quicker, go ahead and just slice them all up, get them all quartered, and then that way you don't have to waste your time doing each one one by one after. So now they're all quartered, so now we'll just trim them down pretty quickly. Good to know. <laughs> not cutting with gloves? No, I'm not cutting with gloves. <laughs> no cutting gloves here. All right, let's clean up these tomatoes. Get them all squared away. Get all the all the juice out. Does tend to make your cutting board pretty uh, pretty wet after due to all the liquid and moisture that's coming out of the tomato. Really, 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 really watery. So make sure after you go ahead and clean them up, you take like a rag or a paper towel to your cutting board and absorb all the the liquid off for the next thing you're gonna do. So it doesn't just sit there and soak in. J Dubs, what's going on? What kind of steel I got? This is my. Um, I don't know if how to pronounce it right, but it's a Ryushu uh, Japanese cutting knife. This is one of my, my main ones right here. Um, it's my biggest blade. I do have a set of globals that I use, um, mainly the small knives I use. I prefer this for my chef knife, but I also do have a uh, the Shuntuku of the global, and this one's really, really, really nice for um, for cutting veggies like this. I'm just keeping it, you know, simple, keeping it clean right now, using one knife for uh, for everything. I got this one probably the sharpest out of all of them as well. Yes, uh, Alex just went ahead and opened the um, the link for the YouTube guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and, and uh, you could press exclamation YouTube, exclamation Twitter. Go ahead and follow your boy, subscribe to your boy on the YouTube. Uh, each episode will be uploaded, you know, if you miss an episode every, a couple episodes are going to be a week, so if you miss one, you can go ahead and hop on there, they'll be uploaded the day after, I'll have them on there for you guys ready to go. Uh, Daisy's in the room with Gmo right now, chilling. Um, Daisy girl, I'll make, a, I'll make a little appearance on camera for her later. Alright, so we got our tomatoes all cleaned up, guys, alright? So, hold on, give me one sec, I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and, just give this little wipe off right here. All that liquid. Alright. So you're just gonna take your tomato. And we're gonna do a nice little little slice on it. Get it ready. It's it's a pretty fine chop. You know, I'm gonna go for a smaller dice on these. So I basically, you know, slice them like that. Get a couple of them all sliced up. Set them next to each other. This is just to make make it go by a little faster. I could do them one by one, but tot, you know. Time is money. So when you're when you're when you're trying to do this shit in the kitchen, it's all about fast pace. But for you guys, you know, doing the stream, it's gonna be a little bit slower. But you know, normally I'm pounding these things out when I was when I was doing prep and things like that. It's something you just want to hang out. So I got all these lined up right here, right, guys? So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna slice through all these real quick. Get a nice even slice, dice through them. I'm gonna mince them up really small for the pico. Got them all diced up. Got my scraper over here. Go ahead and whip that out. These things are amazing. These bench scrapers. Use them in baking and shit to scrape up all the flour and everything. I like them for my ingredients, you know what I'm saying? Scoop them up nice and quick. Look at all the dice. Throw them in the bowl. Get them out the way. All in one, all in a couple punches like that. Bam, bam, done. Keep it up here. Shannon, what's going on, girl? Thanks for stopping by. Can I sign you up for The Bachelor? I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. Oh, I know you're here. I expected you to be here. Let's get the rest of these chopped up, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get these done so we can get this salsa going. Go ahead and check the cauliflower in a second. Thanks again, guys, for all the follows. Appreciate it very much. It's awesome. Support continuous, continuous. It's amazing. You guys are great. All right, that's about all I really need. I'll save the rest of the tomatoes for a sandwich tomorrow. We're just gonna need uh, just about that much for for the fish for a little bit extra to serve on the side. We'll get the excess tomato out of the way. Save these for later. All right. Got our, our cutting board, get it all cleaned up, get all that liquid off there, those tomatoes just 
push out lots and lots of liquid. Alright. Get the knife cleaned off. Alright. Move on to the next part. What do we got going on in chat? <laughs> you guys all heard Gmo sneeze in the background? I love it. <laughs> Go ahead and take a peek at the cauliflower. Go ahead and take them out. Check and see where they're at. All right, so we're getting some nice color on these bad boys. Some really nice color. Making some good progress. I basically am feeling for the tenderness on these, uh, on the ends of the cauliflower, the thick parts. I just give them a quick pinch, see where they're at. They're, they're going pretty quick. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let those get all the, almost all the way done. We're gonna pull them out let them sit for a minute, kind of carry over, carry over cooking, and then we'll give them a blast right at the end before we uh, serve up. So I'm going to go ahead and get my onion cut up for the pico. It's all cleaned up. Damn onions. Right? So it's a pretty decent sized onion. Um, I give it a little couple slices down the side for more even cuts at the end, right? Slice into it. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make my little cut marks. So that way when I slice down, I got a nice even dice along the entire onion. Little parts may fly out, it's no big deal. Just keep it nice and even. Okay. I'm going to turn the onion. We're just going to give it a nice dice, just like I did last time for the... Uh, the risotto dish that you guys might have tuned in and saw. So we're going to go ahead and give that a nice little chop. Make sure every piece is nice and even on the cutting board. Got a couple pieces that got away from me. So we're going to go ahead and make sure those get a nice even dice as well. Alright. Skin piece right there. Alright, got my onion all sliced up. couple big chunks there. Then go ahead and grab my bench scraper, throw them, in, throw the onions in the bowl. Pretty much want almost like a like a fit, almost a 50-50 ratio in my in my salsa recipe for my tomato to onion. I like a lot of onion in there. I think it adds really really good flavor. A nice little oniony kick doesn't hurt nobody. So we're gonna go ahead and just toss in the onions uh, a little bit in to the bowl with the tomato just to see my evening out my portions right I've got a spoon go ahead and mix around the onion tomato just to see what we got going on looks like a nice pretty uh, pretty even mix in there so alright put that to the side reserve the second half of the onion always use it later in cooking get my excess onions off the cutting board the cutting board a little wipe down like I said before safety first no professional doesn't need no gloves I ah, never use cutting gloves that shit that shit's for when you're using a uh, when you're using a mandolin slicer you want a glove on because that will slice your fingers and your hands up real quick uh, in charge maxi thank you for donating the bits bits are basically twitch currency um, it's just another way of tipping somebody max thank you very much for that appreciate it very much all right, so what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cauliflower out. Let it sit. Let it sit, let it finish cooking. Turn up the fan a little bit. All right, so we got that. We're gonna get these jalapenos sliced up real quick. So we got our green jalapeno. Probably gonna only use half of this one, to be honest. So I'm gonna just flatten it down. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my knife in there. I'm gonna slide it along with the bottom, get the root out with all the seeds. Just pulls out. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in the trash can. Now I don't need the heat from the jalapeno. All I really need is the pepper itself. I'm not really trying to make this 
crazy hot. It doesn't need to be. It's going to get just enough heat from the actual chili itself. So we're going to mince that up really finely so it complements the same cuts as the tomato and the onion. Get our bench scraper, toss it in. See, got it tossed in. We're going to go ahead and mix that in into the bowl. We're going to get our red jalapeno cut up in a second. Mix one of those in there as well. One of the reds in there. Hey! I'm not going to get Daisy. There's my dog in the background for you guys to hear barking, thinking someone's walking into the front door. Sorry about the noise. Alright, so we got the de-seating. Yeah, Daisy's running around, she's tripping out. She hears me talking to the camera, she constantly thinks someone's there. So sorry guys, you might hear her in the background. She's uh, a little noisy. Garrett clearly doesn't know how to keep her in the bedroom, so. Get my jalapeno diced up, the little guy. Get that tossed in there. I like mixing up the colors a little bit, you know. Traditional green jalapeno, eh. I like them Fresno chilies. I like them red peppers. They look especially good when you're doing meat dishes. Uh, you can grill the whole thing. Have it as a nice, tasty side. You know, grilling it up, making these things cooked up is really nice. It releases all the essential oils out of the pepper. Um, really brings them to life. Raw, they're just very, very, um, very, very spicy. But, you know, not as flavorful as when they get roasted. Got another uh, bit donation. Jesus, Ryan, coming in with 500 bits, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Boop17. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Thank you for stopping by. All right, we got our uh, our peppers mixed in, okay? We got all our peppers mixed in there. We got our onion, our tomato. We're gonna throw one cucumber in there. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that down for you guys. We're gonna get this cucumber thrown in there. How we shave off the skin. I don't mind eating the skin, you know, when you eat a cucumber by itself. But uh, as far as the cucumber in uh, the salsa, I don't really want the skin in there. I don't need the texture. I really just want the freshness of the cucumber itself. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and shave off the skin like you saw there. We're gonna go ahead, cut it in half. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nice little slice. Don't need much of it. Probably use half this cucumber if anything. So, just got some little layers out. We're gonna go ahead and get those chopped up, thrown in there, nice and uh, nice and fresh. Like I said, cucumber with fish, one of my favorite things. I think it mixes just incredibly well. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. Brings a whole different flavor to the to the pico that you know normally wouldn't have in there. So, get this diced up. Just a little bit of cucumber, nothing crazy. Let it, let it speak for itself once it gets in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Once the flavors all come together, you know, it'll know its place. We got another uh, follow, Mr. Bun Mr. Burnsy01. Thank you very much for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. So we're going to mix the uh, cucumber in there. Got everything mixed up. Now, last before we put the actual salt and pepper seasoning in there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop up some fresh cilantro. Uh, every Pico's main, main ingredient is fresh cilantro. This stuff is extremely, extremely, extremely strong herb. Uh, a lot stronger than parsley. Tends to pair really well with um, seafood, tacos, most uh, Mexican dishes just, you know, cilantro is key. Um, this pico is a necessity for the cilantro. The way the cilantro pairs with the fish, oh my goodness, it's delicious. It's exactly what it needs. We're just gonna go ahead and give this a nice little chop. Just out of the way. Go ahead and give this a nice little chop. Don't wanna bruise the herbs by chopping, you know, too rough, too, the wrong way. We're just gonna get a nice slice down the herbs. Rotate so you guys can see. I'm just going to go ahead and get a nice, nice chop. Make sure uh, everything's getting chopped up evenly. I'm going to pr 
approach it at different angles. So the original organic cut before, get it cut around. Get it all together. Everything's coming out nice and even. Alright? So, I'm going to start off just by throwing a couple pinches of the, uh, the cilantro in there. We're going to mix it up. See how much we got going. It, it, it tends to cover the pico pretty well. The cilantro spreads and sticks, so you can see it pretty well in there. All right, so it's spread out pretty well. Looks like there's just enough in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more. I do like lots of cilantro in my uh, my pico. And Hyoid, gifting a sub to Shannon. Alex, thank you very much for gifting a sub like that. I appreciate it, bro. You didn't have to do that. Thank you very much. You've gifted a couple subs already, and I appreciate it very much. That's, that's rad of you, brother. Thank you very much. What are we, <laughs> next Food Network star? All right. <laughs> Gmo's in here. He just came in. Monday, 17. Ian, what's going on, brother? Thanks for stopping by the stream, big dog. What's going on, dude? You're right. We got a subscriber. We're taking a shot at the Jameson. We got another uh, follow. Ian, thank you for the follow. Like I did last time, sub gets a shot, so we're going to take a shot. Woo! Starting off right. Sub for a shot, guys. Sub for a shot. Not get me too hammered, because I'm not. I might make it two subs per after, because I still got to focus on what the hell I'm doing. All right, so we got everything thrown in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some lime juice in there. Need some moisture. Need to get the uh, flavors going in there together. The juice is going to go ahead and tie everything together as it sits there. Cheers, boys and girls. Cheers. <laughs> it isn't good. Okay, I need to know who the hell Peco Peco is. It's got to be Alec. All right, so I got half a lime in there. Go ahead and mix that in a little bit. Right, we're gonna take a little salt. Go that in there. Get some fresh ground pepper in there. Love me that pepper, baby. We're putting mad pepper in there. Jammin, I see you coming in there. Thanks for stopping by. J Rums, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it very much. We're going to go ahead and mix the salt and pepper in, spread it around, make sure it gets uh, covered on everything. Then we're going to go ahead and give it a taste, see where it's at. Do need to throw a little bit of lemon juice in there as well. I like to complement the lime with the lemon, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead, get the, the lime, lemon sliced up a little bit. Go ahead and quarter it because I need some of the lemon for later. So just a little... A little uh, a little lemon in there, just a little lemon juice, show some love. Alright, so everything's mixed together, we got our juice in there, we got, so we're going to go over this one more time. We got aroma tomatoes, we got onion, we got cucumber, we got cilantro, we got salt, we got pepper, we got red jalapenos, we got green jalapenos, now the last ingredient for this is going to be the mango which ties everything together. The mango with the fish, out of this world. J-Ho FKE, thank you very much for the follow. Alyssa, thank you for the sub. Looks like we're doing another shot. <laughs> Y'all just wanna see me take shots, that's why you're subbing. Gee, man, Christmas. Cheers. God damn. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. All right, so let's get these ma this mango thrown together. I'm going to scrape the excess cilantro inside of the cutting board because, yes, we will be using the cilantro later. We got that. Scrape to the side. <laughs> you guys don't have an Amazon Prime. Yeah, uh, like Maxie said in the chat, if you guys have Amazon Prime, which most of us do nowadays, uh, if you link it to your Twitch account, you get one free sub a month, um, you know, no, nothing to do with anything except having the Twitch. You don't have to 
tie in a credit card or nothing. You just get it free, and uh, it's yours for giving. So, you know, if you like what your boy doing, go ahead and gift him over his sub. You feel me? We're going to go ahead and jump on the board. Ah! Slippery. Slimy. All right. There we go. Got it all, all trimmed up. Get the skin off the mango. We don't need that texture. Just like the same thing as uh, as the cucumber. We don't need that texture in there. No, thank you. Nice little bite from the uh, mango is going to do do its thing. Don't need that skin on there. Can you have Dog the Bounty Hunter feature it as a celeb? <laughs> right? Yeah, Bubble Butt. Who, who are you, Bubble Butt? Do I know you? All right, so I'm going to take my, uh, my mango. All right, so the mango has a core down the, down the middle. It's pretty big, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice around it and rotate the mango, and that way I can get my chunks, and I'm, I'm going to stay away from that super bitter center, all right? So we're going to take the mango, sliding all over the place, and I'm going to do little slices, all right? You can already feel how close it is on this side, all right? So basically, it's kind of hard to see in camera, but there's a white line that goes on the center, and it's really dry. And once you see that white line, you know you're hitting the root. So you just stop. So you rotate. So I'm turning it over the other side. Just work down to the center. Right? Looks like I can get one more out of that. There we go. Yeah, we got a nice piece out of that. Okay, we'll rotate here. Hit the center there. So worked over a little bit more than I thought. And there. Bam. Get maybe one more out of that. Yep, perfect. So now we're down to the core on each side. So that's just going to be waste. Don't need that. I'm going to toss that in the trash can. Eventually, you have to eliminate swiping left altogether. <laughs> oh, God. Are we talking about Garrett on his freaking Bumble game right now? For reals? The Mango Madness. You know it, Ian. What's going on, brother? Thanks again for stopping by. Everyone in the chat right now, thank you so much. Oh, Lord Almighty. Jammin gifting a sub to his sister Jackie, my cousin. Thank you so much for the subscription. Cheers. Every time it gets a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more tasty. All right, so we got our mango. Let's get these tossed in there. Let's get this shit rolling. So I'm gonna take the mango, same, same situation, right? Nice little dice on these bad boys. Get them all sliced up. Probably won't even use half this. I'm going to snack on half this later after I get my bolski in. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get these uh, get these all trimmed up. Get them all next to each other. And go ahead and give it a nice little dice up. Just like I did the tomato. Exact same way, guys. Exact same way. If you weren't here before, save yourself a little time. You can go ahead and slice most of them up. And then just put them next to each other. Slide across. Give them a nice little dice. We got a little dice on our mango. Bubble butt. Who are you? I'd love to know who you are. Garrett's getting lucky tonight. <laughs> Jackie with the sub. What the fuck does Alexi know about? <laughs> oh my god. Garrett and his unsuccessful bumble story. I swear to god it'll never ever get old. Seriously. <laughs> what a bolski. What's a Bolski? Oh, Auntie Tammy, you don't need to worry about a Bolski. Something us younger kids indulge in every once in a while to enhance our flavor profiles and make us giggle a little bit more than we normally do. Alright. So, we got some mango mixed in there. Let me go ahead, go ahead, and, go ahead and give that a little taste. See where we're at as far as seasoning. So much mango as I need to throw in there. Okay. Nice kick from the jalapeno. Feel like we're level there. Definitely need some more mango. Maybe a little bit of salt. Throw that salt in there. Alright, let's add a little bit more mango. Tone it down just a little bit. That kick is nice though. I could definitely definitely feel that kick of the the jalapenos in my 
my forehead. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit with a little mango because get it down exactly how I want it. Sweetness um, is one of those things that helps uh, correct something that's too spicy. So if you ever make something too spicy and you need to tone it down a little bit, something sweet will go ahead and reverse that roll and make it, uh, make it a little bit easier to take down. So, all right. Go ahead and mix the rest of this mango. This should be just right as far as the mango based on what I see here. Looks like we're looking good. All right. So we got our salsa. Give it one more taste. All right. Perfect. A little more salt. A little more pepper. I need a bowl ski. <laughs> you should hit a bowl ski. Red's your color, Drew. Red's my favorite color, so yes, red is my color. All right, guys. We got our uh, salsa made for the fish. We'll go ahead, let this chill in the fridge. Let all the flavors kind of come together. Um, every salsa like this that you add like liquid in and a bunch of different flavors like this, you gotta let them sit, saturate, mix with each other, spread out that loving. All right, so we got that in the, in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and get this mango out of the way. I'm gonna snack on that a little bit later. Maybe even right now. Next, we're gonna move on. We are gonna go ahead, get our uh, lime zest trimmed up, or zested off, get uh, our lime juice ready, um, a little bit more chopped cilantro ready for the rice. We're gonna get the fish thrown on the flat, on the stove, get them flat on the flat top. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead, pop the cauliflower back in and then plate up, get everything going. SKAV87, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it very much. You should see the green one. Andrew, what's the perfect amount of time to hard boil eggs? Asking for a friend. Perfect amount of time to hard boil for eggs. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a pot of water. You're gonna bring it to a hard boil. A hard boil is um, when the water's rapidly coming up, right? There's a soft boil where there's just a little bit of bubbles kind of rising to the top, no. Hard boil, let that shit go. Let the bubbles come up. You're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. Throw your eggs in there. Put a 10 minute timer on. And you're gonna go ahead, sorry, <laughs> the onion made me burp. You're gonna go ahead and um, after 10 minutes, take the eggs out and uh, they're good to go. Uh, sorry, did I say, it? you put the eggs in ahead of time with the water, let it come to a boil, turn it off, 10 minutes, done. Take them out, um, peel, you, you shock them in ice water, right? Get an ice bath, bowl like this, have some ice, some liquid, nice and cool. Shock those eggs in that ice water let them, you know, cool up a little bit. Take them out, ready to peel and go. Simple, simple, simple. All right. Dad, thank you. Yeah, you know, my dad knows how to get us down on that too. He's got it going. He says 12 to 14. I say 10. You know, same shit. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead and we are going to get the ingredients for the rice ready. We're going to get the pot heated up for the fish, and we're gonna get some things going. So as far as the fish is concerned, we got some beautiful, beautiful mahi-mahi fillets. Food's so damn good, they named it twice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fillets. Grab a plate. Keep them separate, no cross-contaminating. And we got some really, 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 really nice cuts of mahi. And these are these are beautiful. So we got our beautiful fillet, skin on. I'm gonna do them skin down, develop a nice crust on them, let them, let them uh, 
let them get really nice in the crust right do feel a couple bones in there we're gonna have to get out pull one out with my finger real quick make sure no one's no one's getting a bone in their bite you know these guys do a good job of getting most of them out but there are some bones that are in there that they don't want to you know sit there pin out tear the entire fillet out to get so got a couple bones out there this one seems nice no bones in this bad boy so what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna get some get some oil on here keep the liquid going get some pepper on there um, a little bit of scarlet powder and we're just gonna let them sit get to room temperature because by getting to room temperature your uh, proteins gonna cook a lot faster opposed to if it's sitting in the fridge you know staying cold because um, then it's gonna have to get warm from being cold and then start cooking so here you know we'll let it we'll let it get warm room temp throw it on let it cook a little bit faster all right hands washed no cross contamination in this kitchen always wash your hands after touching raw food raw proteins mixing anything spicy touch your eyes on accident no bueno so what we're gonna do is we get a little OVO, a little extra virgin olive oil we're gonna go ahead and toss that on the fish keep some moisture on there pan down for you guys. Get this shit out of the way. Alright. Limes and our lemons out the way. All our tools. Alright, so we got our fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some some pep some fresh ground pepper on there. Let's cover it up pretty nicely with the pepper. Like I said, I love pepper, so I tend to put a lot on there. If you don't like using as much pepper, then you don't have to, but something I do like to use. So, what's going on, Dilly? Slap the meat. <laughs> I like the sanitation practice. Well, sanitation is important. I ain't trying to get nobody sick. Yeah, uh, Alex, my dad, Lairdog68, is a great cook. D who do you think I uh, picked up my cooking skills from? My family. My mom, my dad. Two great, great, great cooks. Taught me well. And whole family inspired me to go to school culinary school got everyone alright so we got our seasoning on I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice to soak in there not too much is acid anything acidic um, for example um, ceviche right ceviche is raw fish that you actually cook over the course of a day or however long it's sitting after you combine it together it's actually cooking itself cold by using um, lemon juice lime juice anything acidic it actually takes proteins and cooks it in a lot of it right so I just put a little bit on there just for flavor um, I don't need anything to start cooking on there this is just strictly for flavor right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let our, our fillet sit out we got our seasonings on there. They're going to get ready to get thrown on there. We're going to get the stuff ready for the rice. The rice is simple. All you got to do is warm it up. It's already fully cooked. Okay, got it cooked earlier on. Uh, we're going to reheat our cauliflower and let that finish off. We'll get the fish on, get those cooked, and we're going to plate up. Pico's in the fridge coming together very nicely. And yes, I'm going to be finishing the fish with a nice baste. And if you don't know what basting is, basically uh, you take a fat like butter, you have it in a pan, throw some herbs, some lemon juice, um, some garlic clove if you need, and you let it go in and you throw your protein in there. You can do it with steaks, chicken, whatever you want, but fish especially. Um, and then you constantly scoop that fat, being the butter in this situation, onto the protein and you just throw all that flavor and let it finish up by cooking like that. And who doesn't like the fucking taste of butter, you know what I'm saying? Larry is mean in the kitchen. He sure is. I figure something like that. Love ceviche, me too. We need to get internet sponsors. <laughs> People just, <laughs> right? Gmo Baby has subscribed. My boy Gmo, been with me since day one of the streaming. He's actually the one that pushed me into, you know, pursue in my streaming passion. Uh, he was the first person that ever told me to do a cooking stream. 
Uh, appreciate it. More shots. Yes, Alex, more shots. Does the skin come off easily after? Uh, Joe, if, if you're not into skin, give me one second. Bottle's almost gone. They gotta get a second one. Uh, Joe, if you're not into the skin, all you do, basically, I'm gonna do it without doing it, right? You pull the fish up, right? And you have a little a little lid started. You have it pulled, and um, you're gonna make a little incision with a knife right under the fish, and then you're gonna pull the end of the fish, and you're just gonna run a nice sharp knife through it. And if you do it right and evenly, it takes a couple tries, right? It takes a couple tries to finesse it. But you can slice the skin off, and then you're gonna have to have it. I personally like skin on on fish like this. Um, so I crisp it up, but yes, if you want to cook it with the skin on, which is cool, um, basically, yeah, you could pretty much cut or pull the fish off of it. You know how tender fish can be. So yeah, if you don't want the skin on it, you can do it before or after. No big deal. I just threw up in my mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> Till it. Jameson run. Yes. Jameson all night. All right. So fish is sitting. Let's get the rice shit prepared. So we got a little bit of cilantro on the cutting board already right here. We need to uh, get a little bit more cilantro chopped up. Then we got to get the lime zested. I have a very nice micro plane. I'll show you guys what that is for those of you that don't know what a micro plane is. It's a really nice way to zest a lemon or a lime, grapefruit, whatever, you, whatever you're zesting. It's fine, fine shavings, I guess you could say. Comes out really nice. So let's get the cilantro chopped up. Do a nice little rough chop at first. Mixed up, toss it over here. The rest for two people for the rice serving that I'm about to do that should be more than enough. Can you ever wear gold on Thursday to represent the? Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> YouTube, yes, yeah, command YouTube. It's up. Thanks, Andrew's headboard to sound like Lydia. <laughs> Mercules, thank you for the follow, J Town. Appreciate it, my brother. One of my closest friends. Thank you very much. All right, so we got our cilantro set aside. Let's get these limes out. Yeah, we'll go over there. All right, so we got, this is a microplane. Handheld, right? This side where you do the shaving, it's really, really sharp blades going down this way that you rub up against and it takes the shavings off and then they come out in the bottom. So. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a lime, a couple limes in here. Uh, got a little, little dish to throw it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lime and I'm just going to rub it on the microplane. And then it's, it's going to happen, it's going to get to the rind. So when it gets there, you move on. You just kind of rotate it. That stuff is super bitter. So just run the lime across the microplane till it gets there and rotate it. You don't want that rind in there, I'm telling you right now. Very, very bitter, very off tasting. Nothing you want in your mouth, I'll tell you that. Use it on your finger. Yeah, dude, I actually trim my fingernails with this on the off time. I just sanitize it correctly so Garrett doesn't get sick when he eats my food. Mom's about to tune in. I would love to have Shelly in the chat, man. Shelly watching. Get, get the parents on there, Bob. Hook them up, brother. Fucking Alec. Okay, so it is Alec. I knew it was Alec since day one. Came in my chat, refused to tell me who he was. It's actually while I was gaming, came in. Alright. One zested lime for this should be fine. Lime, lime zest is super, super strong. Uh, very concentrated. Uh, you don't need too much of it to get what you need. I'll tell you that. I'm going to go ahead and save this. The inside of the lime is perfectly fine for the juice or whatever you're going to use it for. So regardless of how the outside looks, it's still good to go. Get the rest of this off my microplane. Oh, Lord, oh, my. What 
did I just hear? In charge has gifted a sub to Lair Dog. Maxi, thanks for sub for gifting a sub to the pops. Oh my God, this is what four shots? How many subs have we got tonight? Press seventeen, so it's four or five shots. Oh my God. Whew. Bottom of the barrel, boys. We're getting to the bottom of the barrel. All right, rice stuff's ready. Let's get this fish guy going, guys. So we got our stove view. We get our flame on high. Get our pot down, right? <laughs> Shut up, Drew. <laughs> Low call, Jameson. Oh my God. All right, we got our pot down. Now the trick to fish, hot pan, hot oil. Get that color on that fish. Get your color. What's gonna happen when you when you throw the fish on, the fish protein expands and sticks immediately to the pan. Just immediately starts to stick. It'll eventually release itself as it cooks and the bottom crusts. Don't force it. That's when you're gonna break the fish inside the pan. So just kind of let it do its own thing. Hot pan, hot oil. In this case, I'm gonna use some extra virgin olive oil. Um, I love the flavor that it provides with this, uh, with the fish. It's really, really nice. Shots, shots, shots. You know it. Game over, fellas. We're not quite there yet, Sammy. Hope there's a barf bag. <laughs> Got the trash can set up right next to me, Bob. We're, we're looking good, Matt. All right. Hot pan. Let's get that oil bracken. Good amount of oil, right? At first, we really want to get a, a get a crust on the uh, on the fish. So we're gonna make sure we have a decent amount of fat in there. You can always take out a little bit of fat, you know, if there's too much, no big deal. Make sure it's coating the bottom of the pan. Took a little bit out. We had a tiny bit too much. All right. We're gonna let the oil heat up. We're gonna throw the fillets down, skin side down. All right. Fillets are looking nice. They've been sitting around, uh, you know, soaking a little bit of that flavor in. A little call butter in the pan. <laughs> butter's later, butter's later. Let's get these babies down. Boy, is that a great, great, great sound right there. Alright, we got the fish in the pan. We got a nice sizzle going. Everyone loves that sizzle, baby. Get my hands all cleaned up and washed. Get all this raw fish off of the kit. Alright. We got our fillets going. We're going to get some nice color on those bad boys. Which episode will I teach you to cook meth? That'll be the... Uh, the after hour show. Gmo, I emailed True Cooks. <laughs> the worst thing I've ever had to deal with. What's going on, Liz? All right. So, we got our fillets in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more fat in there while the fish are going. I took out, you know, a little bit, thought I had too much. But the fish does, you know, take a little bit of it away once it gets thrown in the pan. So, we're going to go ahead. Pan's nice and seasoned. Fish is going. We got a uh, fish spatula. That's what this bad boy's called. Gets under nice and nice and easy for the fish. Sister coming in clutch. <laughs> he deserves the best. Right? That's what I'm saying. Alright. Alright. So. We've got the, oh, we got a uh, follow, RG Garmin, thanks for following, thank you Ryan for the follow, I appreciate it. Alright, so fish is going, um, we're going to check the crust, they have already released, I tested it by pushing the spatula under a little bit, and yes, I felt a relief. Sure, it's released on both sides. All right. All right. Let 
those babies go. Let them crust up. Let them get the uh, get the skin nice and crispy. Got to keep that skin crispy because uh, what happens is when the fish rests after, or I go ahead and baste it, if it's not crispy enough, it'll get really soggy and it's just really mushy and disgusting. So we want to stay away from that. Uh, what's that? Joe had <laughs> Joe. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, brother. I appreciate it. So there, Joe, Joe came in with the Twitch Prime, uh, the free. The free sub that he got by connecting his Amazon Prime. We're going to pick out the new bottle. Ugh. This one tastes different. What the fuck? Gmo water my shit down? Alright. Get back to the fish. Skin not quite, not quite as uh, crispy as I want yet. Just kind of feeling it with uh, feeling it with the spatula, picking it up, feeling my finger on the middle of the crust just to see how crispy it's getting. This middle one, or this big one right here, um, pushing down on it because the center of it, it kind of flared up, and the center of the bottom of the skin is not really punching up too much. So we're gonna get a lot more fat on that side. We're gonna make sure that side gets nice and crisp, just like the other side. This other side crisping up real nice. Really, really nice. And again, guys, thank you very much for stopping by tonight. I, I truly appreciate all your guys' support. I cannot say it enough. I'm going to continue to say it every episode. Uh, thank you so much. Seriously, appreciate it. Mars McCoy. How do I sub? There's a button on the top right. It says subscribe, maybe, or I, I don't know. It says different for everyone, uh, for me at least, because I have gift a sub or I don't know it, it's just a subscribe up there uh, you click that and you, you'll be able to su subscribe and I appreciate it very much if you do thank you very much all right fish is going we're gonna go ahead and flip this one very carefully we're gonna flip it fish is super super delicate when you're cooking it Super, super delicate. All right. Nice and crisp. Go ahead, flip this bad boy. So I can feel the skin. I feel the skin, and it's it, it's pretty much to the point where if I pushed my finger any harder, it would crack. So it's it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm a uh, around medium heat um i just turn it down just a little bit because once you got heat going um the heat stays and um it gets hotter and hotter so once you maintain that heat you can go ahead and turn it down because it's just going to get hotter and hotter so go ahead and turn it down level out the heat a little bit uh flip them over i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more oil to the uh, pot so we can get some color on the other side just a little bit more fat in there keep them uh keep them going Spreading out the uh, the oil around the pan, just make sure it's covering all sides of the fish. Now, one of them especially is a fat chunk of fish, so I'm most likely going to finish these off in the oven. Um, throw the cauliflower back in the oven, let those finish. We'll put the rice together, be ready to go. I'm already subscribed. Well, Mars McCoy, thank you very much. Uh, Paul of the Park. Thank you very much for your uh, your follow. I appreciate it. Recipes on command. Uh, uh, exclamation recipe. Put it up. Mom, yeah, no problem. All right. See how these bad boys are, are coming together? Getting some color. Getting some color on there. All right. Those are just about ready to get thrown in the oven. What I'm doing next is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, get my rice warmed up. I already have it cooked off. It's already fully cooked. So I'm just going to warm it up real quick. What's up? It's Paul. Wyatt likes your hat. <laughs> What's going on, Paul? Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate that very much. Tell Wyatt, thanks thanks for watching, buddy. All right, let me just throw this, uh, throw this rice into the microwave to warm it up real quick. Camera real 
All right, so I got my mic, my uh, my rice in the microwave. We got our fish going. Chef Mike assisting this evening. Got the rice. True, yeah, you know what I'm saying. True cooks is, is the real one. All right. Our fish is getting some beautiful color. Really, really nice color on these fillets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them back over to the skin, and then we're gonna toss them in the oven and let them finish off. And yes, I just turned my oven down to about 350. So as you can see, we got some really nice color on the fish. Really, really nice. I flipped them back to the skin because I want, as them to finish cooking in the oven, I want that skin to stay nice and crisp because when I uh, baste it, I don't want it to get super mushy. Like I said before, I want it to stay nice and crisp. All right, we're gonna throw the fish in the oven. We're gonna go ahead, throw the rest of our cauliflower in the oven, let it rewarm, let it finish cooking. All right. Rice is just about done. We're gonna go ahead and throw the rice together and we're gonna plate up. Salsa's in the fridge, coming together really nicely. We're gonna to top that off on the fish. Let me catch up on some chat with you guys real quick. <laughs> Looks great, thank you very much. I'm telling Pete and this initiative coming. You know what I'm saying. Nate, I subscribed but it didn't say anything. Um, I do not see a subscription that came through for you, Nate. I don't think it went through. You might have to re refresh the screen, possibly. I think that's how it works. It doesn't say that you uh, that you subbed. Let me see. Missing. No, I haven't missed a sub. It, it definitely will give a notification if you did. I don't. I don't see it. My last subscription that popped up was Joe's. Before that was in charge gifting to Larry. Um, so yeah, that's that's the last one I see. Uh, Bubble butt. It showed a. Um, let me see. It showed a. I got a follow from you at which I replayed at the beginning of the stream at two hours ago. I got a follow from you, but no, I have not got a subscription from you. I will refresh this page, but I'm. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, no subscription. You might need to refresh. Um, you might need to refresh. Yeah, oh, Alexia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, following it did come up, and I did point it out. Get the rice out the oven. I just put it in a ba plastic bag, a little bit of moisture, a little water in there, and I just heat it up in the microwave with a couple holes and let it rewarm to start fully cooked. I just need to bring it back at 10. Uh, he is subscribed. He has the icon. Absolutely. Um, if you're talking in chat, you'll have a purple star next to your name, and that's how it's. Um, that's what differentiates. Uh, subs from non subs. It's like a badge that it gives. Wyatt, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for watching with your dad. All right, so we're gonna get this rice assembled real quick. Go ahead, get this thrown uh, thrown in. All right, we got our rice in a bowl, enough for two people. All right. So what we're gonna do here is so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt, right? Gotta season up the rice, a little bit of pepper. Alright, a little bit of garlic powder. Say about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Really, really light, really light. He has a star at those computer specs. The what Nate does have a star? Yeah, Nate does have a star. Just trying to, okay, 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 no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, I see the star next to his name. I'm not sure why it didn't pop up, why it's not showing here, maybe it will later, but cheers. Oh, man, 
You guys are fucking killing me. All right, let's go ahead and check the fish. Where I put my hot glue. All right, we got our fish. Basically, how I'm checking is I'm pinching the sides. Once they're, you know, just bouncing back, that means the fish is just about good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it rest. We're gonna get that basted in a quick second. I'm gonna get that going after I get this rice together. So we got salt, pepper, garlic powder, right? What we're gonna do next, we're gonna take some of that zest, right? We're just gonna throw a little bit in there. Like I said, zest is really strong, so I'm gonna play with it. I'm not gonna not gonna throw a lot in there at once. Same with the cilantro, right? Get the cilantro in there a little bit at a time, and then we're gonna mix it. Now everyone's got different tolerance to lime zest and and uh, cilantro. Uh, you know, it's it's all personal how you like it. I like to find a happy medium for myself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some lime juice in there. Got it, you know, half our lime. Throw some juice in there. Okay. Toss that together. Really simple, guys. Really, really simple. It's a matter of combining ingredients, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Tasting good. I need some more cilantro. Immediately off the top of my, my head, I knew that. Let's toss in a little bit more cilantro. Garlic. Yes, saw it on the pop-up. They feel like Garrett's love handles. They sure do feel like Garrett's love handles. I'm making Thanksgiving right now. My favorite rice. Yes, my mama loves this rice. All right, so let's taste it one more time. All right. Go a little bit more cilantro, mix it, and it's done. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna take a clean towel. I'm gonna pour it over the top of this bad boy, and I'm gonna let it sit on my stove. Stay warm. Done. That's ready to go. We're gonna baste the fish. All right. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn. The stove on low heat, right? We're gonna go low heat. It's already hot from being in the oven, so it doesn't need to be on high, so we're not trying to get this cooked too much more. All right, I'm gonna get some butter. All right, got my butter. I got a nice piece already, you know, sliced up. We're gonna throw, we're gonna throw that butter in the pan. Oh, what do we got here? Make it. <laughs> Make your mama go woo has just subscribed. Thank you so much. I guess we're taking like the seventh shot of the night. Y'all getting me faded right now. Y'all just want to see me get faded. All right. So, and yes, for, if you resub every month, it will pop up and I will take another shot for you. All right. So, <laughs> I got to keep, I got to keep the, uh, the, the hand on me. Got to keep the towel in my hand because this pot's so hot. So I got the butter melted, all right? Butter's melting. It's a lot of butter we're going to put in there, right? We're going to put a lot of butter in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get another little piece cut up. Throw it in there, let you guys see, all right? I'm going to go ahead and put some lemon juice in there. Alright, we got some lemon juice, which is going to prevent it from burning. Monday is now hosting my stream. Thank you very much for the host, Ian. I appreciate it very much, brother. Thank you very much. Alright, guys. So we got lemon juice. We got butter. And for my favorite basting ingredient, I'm going to go ahead get some fresh thyme. We're going to throw some fresh thyme in there. All right. We got some fresh thyme thrown in there. All right. What you're gonna do? Is you're gonna take a spoon and put the fish up a little bit. Take your spoon. You're gonna take all that butter with all that flavor. You're gonna spread out the thyme over the fish, and you're just gonna constantly scoop it on the fish. Turn the heat up just a little bit. All right, we're gonna take that lemon juice and butter and we're just gonna heat 
reapplying it and pouring it onto the fish. Okay. Finish the cooking process. Put some flavor in there. I'm going to even grab a little bit more butter just because I like me some butter and I need a little bit more to scoop on there. All right. Got another pot of butter in there. Kerry Gold should be a sponsor. Kerry Gold's good, but I use a non-salted, you know, neutral butter that doesn't take away too much flavor because I, you know, I'm expecting a certain taste, so got to leave it that way. It says rub it, but I'm missing my star. Uh, Miss Mars McCoy, um, did you refresh your page? All right, so we got our butter. Base this bitch up. All right. Base that with some butter. Alright. Turning off the heat completely. We're going to get the cauliflower out of the oven. We're going to get the pico out of the fridge and we're going to plate up, guys. Easy as that. Now, as a healthier choice, you do not have to finish with butter and base and butter at all. If you want to do it healthier, which that basically ruined it, all you got to do is maybe a little bit of lemon juice on top. Alright. A little bit more salt and pepper, and you're going to get plenty of flavor out of it. It's not going to be an issue, right? But that right there is not healthy, what I just did to the fish. But it's all about the flavor for me, personally. The rest of the dish is pretty healthy itself, so I'm not going to worry about it there. But like I said, if you want to keep it healthy, just don't base it in butter at the end. All right, so we got our, we got our cauliflower. Looking good, looking perfect. Let's go ahead and get this on the cam for y'all. We got our cauliflower, nice and roasted. All right, take that out. We're gonna get our fish out of the pan on a plate. We are delicious, delicious fillets. Let them rest for a second. All right. Now we're gonna take the pico out of the fridge and we're gonna plate up, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just clean up around me a little bit. So we got an area to plate up on. Don't need that. All right, catch up with you guys real quick while everything's rest. It's different than a Twitch sub, outside people, yeah. Um, if you wanna post a link, just ask the mod. Yeah, go ahead and ask Max, uh, in charge Max, if you wanna post a link, it's no big deal. He'll get you modded through. Um, use, I can't believe it's not butter. It's not bad, but I like the quality butter I use. I'll show you right now. I personally, every time, use Challenger, um, non-salted. Salted butter is a lot, lot, lot more salty than non-salted. Like, you can literally taste the difference. Um, I like to adjust my seasoning with salt myself. Uh, that's why I stick to non-salted butter, but it's up to you. Use whatever you want. All right. Pico's goes out. Give it one last little mix. Make sure it's all mixed up. Looking good, smelling good, very excited. All right, let's get the cutting board cleaned up, ready to plate up. All right. All righty. We're all we're all wiped down. Clean plating surface area. That's how I like it. You know what I'm saying? Coming over Thursday and expecting a five box car five star meal. <laughs> you got it. You should do duck. Ducky orange. I, I can do that. I can do that. Duck's one of my favorite favorite proteins to cook with. Um, I use what's on sale. I hear you on that. Cooking isn't cheap. Sale's always better. Alright guys, let's get plated up.
All right. Get our plates. Make sure. Nice and clean. Get a wet paper towel. Get the plates a nice little wipe down. Do this guys here we go lungs life <laughs> yes I smoke weed obviously all right let's do this so first we're gonna go ahead and lay down our rice where's my spoon forgot I, I dirty one of my spoons that I was gonna use for this part all right so we're gonna go ahead and lay the rice down both plates. Me and uh, me and my boy Gmo's waiting up in the room and helping me out with everything. About to get down. Alright. We got our rice plated up. Let's throw a little bit more on there. There's some hungry boys over here, you know what I'm saying? Alright. We got our rice plated. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna grab our cauliflower. Um, eh, yeah, we'll put the cauliflower down and then we'll go ahead and put the fish down. Just trying to see it in my head. I like to kind of envision the way I played it before I do. For the cauliflower, go ahead and put the cauliflower florets down. I like to use both sides. I think it's uh, nice to kind of mix it up. I just kind of throw different sized pieces with different looking colors kind of around so I'm going to arrange those where I want them on the dish now this is all personal preference you can plate this dish up exactly how you want me personally I kind of see my in my vision in my head each time I I cook and kind of already know how I want to plate it up um, sometimes I change it up but for the most part I, I pretty much know all right so we got our cauliflower down. Go ahead and grab our fish fillets. Get the time off of them. Added some nice flavor. All right? Where's my fish spat? I'm gonna grab my fish spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and serve the fillets. Plate. Now with some fish, I like serving skin side up. Um, however, with this fish, uh, I like the. It depends really on how the crust looks, and I really like the glazing that the butter does um, on top of the fish by basting it. It adds this really really nice glare to it. Um, you can kind of see it in there. It's very, very glossy, very shiny, very fresh looking, right? All right, so now, last ingredient, guys. We're gonna go ahead, actually, I do this with all my fish. I like doing a little bit of fresh lemon juice on top. Two easy, easy, easy dishes to prepare. You know, a little bit of maintenance, but not much. Healthy for the most part. Like I said, don't throw the butter on there at the end. Minion, 
What's going on, Minion? How you doing? Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Um, when is this happening? We can do a chop edition. Let's go get ingredients next week. What are you talking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was about to get into that. Looking forward to the new episode. Thank you very much, Alex. I appreciate it. Dank. <laughs> Go ahead and show you the dishes uh, one more time. We'll get a nice little close view for y'all. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, I cannot believe the progression that is taken off. It's pretty unbelievable. Um, we're already up to 20 subscribers right now. Uh, followers hasn't refreshed. We'll see how many followers we're at. I seriously can't even believe it. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, shouts out to everyone again that I know is in here. Uh, I see you typing, Justin, Auntie Tammy, Mom, Dad, Alyssa, Nate, uh, Gmo back in the bedroom who helped me set this whole thing up, Alex, uh, Shannon, Candace, Jackie, James, Alex, Dylan, um, everyone else that stopped by, showed your support, Ian, I mean, both Justins, Ryan, Alicia, Alicia, Max, uh, Matt, you know, everyone that's in here, Mars McCoy, thank you very much. Uh, 21, count me in. I, I appreciate that very much. Like I said, uh, all the money the sub from the subscriptions, from the donations, the bits that were donated to me, I uh, will be putting towards the food costs. You know, it's not, it's not cheap to do this, but I do what I love, and this is, you know, the, what better place to do with it than in my own home. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate all you guys being here. Again, thank you so much. Uh, I want to dig into this while it's still hot, so we're going to be ending the episode in just a couple minutes. I want to catch up with you guys in chat real quick. Yeah, how drunk you got to be to make this dish? Well, apparently I found out tonight by taking like six shots, but you know what? Shots for a sub, I'll do that shit any day. Appreciate it, guys. Cool, dude, I'll just go fuck myself. Sammy D, thank you so much. Two weeks in a row. Jack McGahee69, that's my boy Sammy. Thank you so much. Can I unsubscribe? Shana Bell, shut up. <laughs> can't wait for the next one. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you for showing up. All these new faces, I can't say it enough. Um, yeah, we're going to get rocking. You know, uh, we got another episode coming Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow, I will be figuring out what that's going to be. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated on social media. Um, I am here to take requests from you guys. So if there's anything you guys want me to cook, send it to me on Twitter. Send it to me on Facebook. Tell me in chat. Let me know. I'd love to, you know, cook what you guys want. That's what I'm here to do. Um, let me know. Seriously. Anything. I had a request for lamb chops. I will be doing some lamb chops upcoming episodes. Maybe uh, when I get back from Colorado, we'll jump into lamb chops. I do want to make, um, you know, scratch made pasta. Maybe I'll do that with my dad. I'd love to show you guys our pasta dishes. Hope you choke. <laughs> Matt, Jesus. Uh, you can go ahead and allow that. It's just Matt saying it. I don't really care. Alyssa, thank you very much. Shots for a sub? I mean, you keep them subs coming, we'll keep them shots going. Chemo allowed the message. Thank you. It's fine. Good seeing you all, good seeing you all here tonight. It's only seemed nice to watch. It's good to say hi to you guys. Yeah, like Max said, you know, I was telling him last week, and I think it's really amazing how we can get all my friends and family and all these newcomers from Twitch and social media and all you guys here um, in one place be able to chop it up a little bit. A lot of people are living in all different places, you know, as we grow and expand. And, um, you know, it's cool that you guys all get to kind of come together on these couple nights, get to chop it up in the chat, get to mess around, we get to all talk and chat. And I'm glad I'm here to, uh, you know, keep you guys entertained. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, uh, you know, put on some music, let you guys kind of chop it up a little bit more. Me and Gmo are gonna get eaten. These things are kind of cooling down a little bit. I'm gonna toss them in the oven real quick. Get these thrown in the oven for a second while we get everything shut down. Again, thank you so much, guys. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love all of you so much. Uh, the support's been outrageously good. I will see you guys on Thursday night if you can make it. If not, uh, tune in next week. Uh, YouTube, I'll have uploads of the videos each week. Um, so, yeah, keep you guys posted. Thanks again. I can't say it enough. Um, I'm going to go through my follows one more time. Thank everybody one more time for today. Uh, we got J Jackie, sub uh, Jackie followed today. Tammy followed today. Max donated 10 bits. Ryan gave me... Uh, donated 500 bits. Uh, Mr. Burnsy 01 follow. Hyoid gifted a sub to Shannon. Thank you very much. Ian gave me a follow. J Rums, thank you for the follow. Uh, Joe, J Ho, FKE gave me a follow. Thank you very much. Alyssa, thank you for the sub. Uh, James, thank you for the gifted sub to Jackie. Uh, SKV87, thank you very much for the follow. Gimo, thank you for the sub. Mercules, thank you for the follow. And, uh, Maxi, thank you for the gifted sub to my dad, Larry. Uh, Ryan, thank you for the follow. Joe, thank you for the subscribe, the Twitch Prime. Paul, thank you for the follow. Uh, Shawnee, thank you for the subscription. And uh, Ian, thank you for the host. Thank you very much, guys. Seriously, S Thursday, 7 p.m. PST. We will be right here doing it again. Bring your baby mama. Bring your grandma. Bring your daddy. Bring your auntie. Whoever you want to bring, bring them all. We'll get it cracking again. Thank you, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play some music, let you guys kind of ease out of here, and uh, I'll see you guys soon, all right? Thank you. <laughs>